This is the IMDb show presented by our friends at Microsoft Surface, Joshua Jackson. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. How are you? Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Let's talk about this new miniseries on Netflix, When They See Us. Congratulations. Thank you. A lot of people are going to know this story. They're going to remember it firsthand. It's a true story about the Central Park Five. Well, yeah. that's what the media called them. Tell me about the story in this project. The way that it was presented in the media was that these five kids had gone out and, and committed this heinous crime and New York was putting its foot down and not going to allow these kids to run wild anymore. And of course, the background to these kids is that they're all black and brown kids. Every black male who was in the park last night is a suspect. These five kids got rounded up the next day and had their entire life stories changed based upon manufactured evidence against them. So they were turned into social pariahs and put through the grinder of the justice system in America, which then changed the entire arc of their lives until they were finally exonerated. They do us like this. What other way they ever do us? What is crazy about this story is the age of the kids. The eldest was 16. Just barely. When I met the, the guys playing them at, at their youngest ages and was just confronted with the fact that these are kids. I mean, mm -hmm. I, you look at these faces and I see... Children. Children. Yeah. And to realize that the entire power structure of the justice system in the state of New York decided to just collectively punish children and lie to do it was a, a deeply impactful moment. Is my mom here? It's just us. You and us. It does not have a happy ending. It has perhaps a just ending because these men's names were finally cleared, but there's no reparation sure. to stealing no. two decades of a person's life. There is injustice happening here. When you're looking at roles, especially this one, which is a hyper-emotional story, what's going through your head as an actor before you say yes to this project? Ava just cold called me at my house. Ava uh, DuVernay, the director. Yes, the, yeah. dire the director, producer, writer, extraordinaire, like powerhouse woman. She's got this great raspy voice. She's like, look, I've got this thing. And so she describes it to me. And the whole way, all of her speech, all I'm thinking, I'm like having the Jerry Maguire moment. I'm like, you had me at hello. Like, it doesn't really <laughs> matter what the rest is because I've been dying to come work for you. So the answer is yes. I found her set to be a really joyful space, even though we're working out. Because she leads from a place of confidence, and so she allows a space for everybody to go and do their best work. A little looser and more casually. <laughs> Let's talk about your character. Tell us who you play in this miniseries. I play one of the, the accused lawyers. I think if you were to ask him very honestly in the beginning, he thought it was a, an open shut case. He, he was believing what he was being told. And I think the journey for that lawyer over the course is to come to the understanding of, oh my God, these, these children are innocent. These tapes are not as clean as the state would have you believe. This doesn't, this doesn't fit. fit. Yeah. And as he came to that, he became more and more, a more and more passionate advocate. I think he was probably always going to be a good lawyer, but he became a passionate lawyer after that, realizing that something terrible was being done to these children. It's not one shred of evidence. Imagine the frenzy of these teenagers. Ripping off her they car. Innocent of these crimes. They are guilty. I remember growing up in the UK and Dawson's Creek being right. a the, hugely the popular Sunday show. morning. Real deal yeah. Sunday morning. That was Dawson's <laughs> Creek moments. I remember everything. Looking back at that experience, best years of your life? No. Why? I mean, these are the best years of my life. I, I had a great time, mostly, I mean, I had a good time. 19 to 24, everything's difficult, you're all mixed up, you don't know your place in the world yet. Like, you, I, I would not go back there, no. Why don't you cut me some slack? Do you get asked about a Dawson's Creek reunion a ton? I'm assuming so. Yeah, people, I think people forget that we killed Michelle. <laughs> so I don't know how you would do that. Where did all this scientific mumbo jumbo come from? 